Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan F. If you're new here and you're watching Young Black Misses, where we talk about marriage, money, and food. And today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 date night that you can do from the comfort of your home. So if that sounds awesome to you, please stay tuned. But while you're here, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, because you don't want to miss a minute of the fun. So 10 date nights that you can do at the comfort of your home. I really, before I get into the, the list of the 10 date nights, I just want to explain why I feel that date nights are so important. Um, I've been married three years now. This is my third year of marriage now. And I remember our pastor that talked to us about marriage during marriage counseling, which honestly was more like Bible study, but whatever. Um, still great and useful. One of the things that the pastor was saying is like date nights are so important. You know, have a date night every week. Now date night every week is difficult, but if you can do it, do it. And I think some of these tips will make it a lot easier than you having to go out and spend a bunch of money to get these date nights going. So it's really an opportunity for you to connect um, in a different setting than you may normally connect. Okay, so I've broken down 10 date night ideas into three categories. So there's food, drink, and then just unique experiences. I'm gonna start with the food. So the first date night, and I'll tell you if I've done any of these. So the first date night idea is a fondue night. And if you are plant-based, there are plenty of options for fondue that obviously doesn't have dairy in it, right? So as I've made a white bean, che like cheesy uh, dip with a beer in it, so good. So gather whatever type of cheese you're gonna have and you don't have to have the fun dip, that the fun uh, utensil that goes with it, that, that special pot. You can literally do this on a double boiler with two uh, saucepans, with one with the hot water and the other one with the cheese that you're gonna use, whatever type of cheese you're gonna use. Or you can put it in the crock pot and that will not stop <laughs> and hook that up now to serve on the side i would like to serve a lot of veggies broccoli carrots tomatoes you can do a lot of different uh, other veggies that you may like um, but those are the top three that i like along with some crispy bread and if you're wanting to switch it up and not do cheese but you want to do chocolate strawberries apples apples would be good with cheese too strawberries, apples, any kind of berry really would be good with chocolate, right? And then you could do pretzels as well. Mm, so good. So you can just have that with a nice glass of wine um, and really just connect and enjoy each other's company. Next up in the food category is a tapas night. And perhaps this is just because I love little small plates or maybe I've just been watching too much Girlfriends. I don't know, like if, you, if you're binge watching Girlfriends, uh, leave a comment below like tell me what you've been watching and this is <laughs> something that I've been inspired by um, but tapas nights so tapas are really if you consider them like small plates um, so they're an opportunity for you to try lots of little bites that you would like recently I did a small plate of Brussels sprouts with um, maple and Dijon mustard with a little bit of truffle mustard because I had it laying around like it's about to go bad kind of a thing, so I might as well use it. And uh, if you don't have maple, you can always use agave or whatever. Then I just, I roasted the Brussels sprouts and then I just coated it. So there's there's one little small plate there, you know, there could be um, stuffed mushrooms or, you know, anything that you think of that's adorable and cute. Spinach and artichoke dip, a little cutesy way of presenting it. That's also an awesome idea for tapas, which it can go well with a cocktail uh, or a good glass of wine and awesome conversation. Next up, and this is our last one in the food category, a formal dinner. And you can do a formal dinner at home. Change your dining room table and convert it into something you would see at a restaurant with candles and maybe a little, um, a little flower arrangement or some sort of centerpiece. Prepare a menu. I would suggest that you have a salad or a soup or both, soup or salad, one or the other, maybe not both, that might be 
doing a little too much. But hey, you do you, because I would do both. But what is an appetizer and an entree? And then you'll be able to enjoy each other's company um, over a meal with, I would say, a glass of wine, because that's my thing. And it'll just be really relaxing. You don't have to really go anywhere. And it could also be a time where you can cook together, right? So let's move on to the drink category. First on the list is a cocktail class. Similar to a cooking class, you can also take cocktail classes where you learn how to make a cocktail with a mixologist. Um, and I've done one of these before uh, recently, and actually it was a free it was a free one through my bank. So they just offered it, just little activities because people are at home. So I just watched it over Zoom, so you could pull up. Uh, your laptop or your iPad or whatever and watch it with your spouse um, and then you can make the cocktails along with and then it's an opportunity for you guys to learn a new skill as well as sample your creations right super fun if you didn't want to pay for said class you could also kind of DIY it even further by looking up on you know Pinterest Winter Google Smoogle YouTube YouTube <laughs> and um, make a cocktail in that way, really recreate something you've seen um, digitally. Next up is a wine tasting. And I'm a whiny girl, if you haven't caught on to that in the past few conversations that we've had, um, I would recommend having four wines to try out. And I really like I really like going to Trader Joe's. Obviously, I'm not sponsored or anything, but I really like going to Trader Joe's for their wine. Their wine is so affordable and really quite tasty really delicious really full body really like crisp like depending on what it is you know just there's there's it's very flavorful and and it's a quality bottle of wine for a reasonable price because another benefit of doing a lot of these date nights at home is you're gonna save some money right so look how we incorporated marriage food and money all in one episode it's so good um so at any rate i would get four bottles of wine preferably two reds two and two whites if you want, if you know, if you want to add another one, a sweet one would be cool too, a dessert wine of some sort. And then while you're sipping said wine, really explain to each other what you're tasting. And in between sips or in between wines, rather, I would um, I would add a little bit of a palate cleanser, such as a bread, a piece of bread, or a cracker. Okay, to the last one in the drink category, uh, a sip and paint. So sip and paint, you, or you could actually do this um, just like coloring too. But there are a lot of opportunities and perhaps you have a local paint shop where they're, they're doing at home kits with the canvas already made and they'll give you paint and they'll give you, um, they'll give you brushes as well where you can do this. Now for me, I recently did something like this for my birthday, you know, 30 and a half. And I have the canvases all set up and I actually still have one left over. So I am hoping to be able to do this date night very soon. So we're just gonna chill out with a glass of wine and use our creativity to paint um, this already sketched out um, canvas. So that's just a nice relaxing night, playing some music, drinking some wine. Again, I love wine and really getting a chance to be creative with my husband, so. All right, moving on to our last category, which is the unique experiences. So one of the unique experiences that I love doing uh, is a dream date. And I uh, recently did this, well, not recently. I did this a while back, beginning of the year, with my husband. And no, it's not analyzing your dreams, though. We do that every morning. Hey, what you dream about? Hey, da da. This is dreaming of what you want out of your relationship, what you want from each other, what you want to experience with each other, uh, what do you see for your future, those type of dreams. It can really bring a great conversation and really open each other up. And it also allows you to get out of these four walls, out of your, out of your mind and see something way bigger than you could ever imagine. Honestly, this is my favorite type of date. And from this date that we had at the end of 2019, uh, we created we created a mission statement that really explains me and my husband's values as as humans, as a couple, and what we desire from 2021. Or I'm sorry, from 2020. 
and we'll probably do that again at the end of this year into 2021. Next up, a crafting date. And I'm, I'm looking down at my notes if you're wondering what this is. A crafting date. So I'm sure you've probably seen something very cool on YouTube or Pinterest, Wintress, where you're like, wow, I really wanna recreate that. Me and my husband actually did this. We did this um, around the holidays, around Christmas time, where we, we did a bunch of crafts, homemade crafts, because we had just bought a home and I really didn't have too much money to buy a lot of cool holiday stuff for us to have. So we were just like, okay, we'll just make it, you know, at the Dollar Tree and next year we'll be better off, right? So this is an opportunity for you guys to get together, use your creative side and create something that you'll always have, maybe. I don't know. We still have a lot of the stuff that we did from our crafting date, so maybe you will too. Um, two more things, Mr. and Mrs. questions. And this is how I would do this date. If you like a double date or a triple date, this is awesome for you. Because what you could do is you can gather two or three couples together, send over like a newlywed game type questionnaire to them and have their spouse respond to said questions. Either it be like on a sheet of paper where you can lay, hey, hold it up, or something to that nature. You can all be on a video conferencing call and play the, you can be the moderator and you can say the question to them and each couple will show said answers and just move forward from that. Um, that'll be a really fun game to play with multiple people um, and really something different and unique. I'm definitely gonna try that um, in the next couple of weeks. Last up, award shows. Now, this is, this is very seasonal, but I love award shows and what I have done in the past Besides the getting dressed up, but I want to do that, I have created a spread of food. I have written out all the nominees. I have made polls on who's going to be, you know, the winner, uh, who's going to take the award away. It really just kind of gives you a reason to kind of get dressed up and do something special while you're sitting on your couch. And so this could be a way that you, if you both love music, you and your spouse can really get into what's going on with the Grammys, or maybe it could be sports themes. If you're really into the big game and you like football, you can really dive into watching uh, the game together uh, and you know wear your favorite team uh, jersey or paraphernalia or whatever, and really get into this, <laughs> the sports activity. I can't even, I don't have language for that. I'm not a sports girl. I mean, I'm from Kansas City, but, I'm not a sports girl, and we have a lot of sports teams that do awesome. But anyways, I hope this has been so much fun to listen to, and I will tell you this. If you are like, oh my gosh, those are awesome, Morgan, I need more. I got you, friend. So in the, in the description of this video, I actually have written a blog with 25, where some of these are included, but 25, so you're, you're gonna get 15 more ideas that you can use at home thanks so much for watching and before you go make sure you like subscribe comment and share with all of your friends